We go into the third clan war of the day. It is Lost Temple to start things. And uh, especially Todd, being as old school as he is, should feel very, very comfortable on that map. In the one-on-ones, we have... Probably Twisted Band, yes, and Turtle Rock as well. For the first time in a long while, TR is out. That's two bad human maps out. And we start on Lost Temple. Who will play? Is it Todd and Cash again? And who's playing for F4? An all-Korean team against an all-Western team. We get the info by Chris, the team manager of UMAT. It is Sonic and Maru. That's the first time, right? They play together? Interesting. They switch it up big time. Let me dig this up. So far for UMAT, we had Cash and Todd. We had Todd, yeah, Cash and Todd, and Cash and Maru. But here we have it. First time ever, Sonic and Maru versus Check and Sock. So it's a Night Elf Human Mirror on Lost Temple. It's all about the middle, boys. It's all about the fountain. It's all about these items there. And maybe some expansions. A little bit about spawn positions here as well. If you have the human natural expansion in the middle of your bases, that's certainly good. Will they save Todd once again for the fifth map? Will Cash be in tip-top shape? In general, you might have to step it up compared to yesterday. I was really impressed by their performance against Rogue Warriors when Cash almost defeated Infi, when Sonic almost defeated Fly. Yesterday wasn't their game to take, uh, for sure. Against LP, they seemed kind of without chances. Colorful and Chao KK focus and colorful in the solos. Too good. I hope they, they woke up with the right foot this morning. Because we can show the standings once again real quick. Got it already, nice. So, that's the current standings here on Liquipedia. Thanks a bunch for updating this. ELL 5 0, Rogue Warriors 4 1, LP Club 2 1. Those are the three favorites. F4 at the moment 1 and 2. UMAT 1 and 2. UMAT with the worst map score, but also the harder opponents. If we look through the history of F4, 3 to 2 against YR, but YR is at the very bottom of the bracket with 0 4. You had defeated NP already, who just challenged ELL to a 3 to 2. Then Rogue Warriors were there. Okay, enough with all these stats. We have our intro, I hope. There we go. We have our intro. You had versus F4, the West versus Korea. Our team, represented by Sonic and Maru, versus the old Uncle Jack and the B-Boy Sock. Chimiko benched for the moment. Two and two it is. Who's gonna take the lead? It's Maru at the 6 o'clock. Maybe the weakest solo player in the entire league. But in some clutch clan wars, he was always there for his team. And he made it look good. Both human are kind of lucky with their natural between the bases. But is that even meta anymore? I don't think so. We see a lot of skirmishes on Lost Temple. Expansions rather rare. And it's all about the big fight in the middle. It's going to be like probably a three to four minute fight in the temple. So who's going to come out on top? We have a Keeper, we have an Archmage, we have a Podum, and a Rifle build. Pally Rifles Podum Hunts? That's unexpected. That is something that F4 is definitely not playing, so we don't have a Mirror Match to start things off. Huh. This could be... This is a slow start for you, Matt, as the tech trees take so long. 
Paladin doesn't have the biggest impact. Lack of water elementals for creeping. But the sustain in the late early game should be great. Wow. Engine of War in the middle of the two bases, next to the shop. So Sock is it an expansion for him. He's definitely going that way. And that's the best position for it. So maybe that is why. And check is creeping is natural as well. The natural is exactly level two. It's very easy to creep. Does that sound a little low? And a refresh. Takes us a second, sorry. So Potom with a Searing Arrow build, Harass build, no aura. Adds a little bit more damage than the aura, but he definitely needs level 2. And now he's storming into Sock's base. There is a wall off, he can't enter. Searing Arrows on Footman. That doesn't do too much that Footman... That, there's no lockdown. Sonic can uh, predict everything that's happening here. But Sock is fending him off relatively easy. Level 2 for Maru. Devotion Aura. And he's sending all the peasants back. So no expansion for him. With that rifle build with hunts. That's kind of not possible. Sonic with double engine of war. And mass hunts. Sonic has, is maybe the player who plays Huntress the most. in Like across all matchups. Bottom is really hurt already. Not sure if that's the best start here trying to get a peasant kill that's a deny by sock but a peasant gone delays the expansion for a little and the bottom has to retreat there is a fountain it's nighttime now even if you don't see it that bad but maru is getting caught by check and that's an entangled that was a holy light forced trying to go for a little mana trade here but maru is moving into the temple for creeping Okay, I tried uh, to contact the production. Maybe they can improve things. So we don't have the Photoshop. Not Photoshop, goddammit, it's called PowerPoint. Uh, throughout the broadcast. Ooh, Podum almost getting blocked by Sock. Hunters are coming in as reinforcements. At nighttime, the Podum can heal in the middle, and Maru is there to back it up. <sighs> <laughs> Sonic waking up the creeps. Nicely done. Shadow melt immediately. And Maru cutting off the way for the Huntress of Check. Do some damage, but there is no reveal for them as well. And that's the fight in the middle that I was talking about. Maru being sandwiched here a little. There's, of course, lockdown with Entangle. Archmage providing lots of damage. Sonic has to help. Level 3 on the pally. No mana available anymore, so the rifles will start to fall. They're aiming for a surround and trying to force a TP. Maru so far can prevent that. Good saves on the rifles. Not too easy to reach them as Sonic is streaming in with his Huntress. And now the second engine of war on the bottom left makes sense. There's a little bit of harass in the north as uh, at Sonic's expansion. At uh, Sox's expansion. It's Hunts! Oh, Take would get some PTSD here. Podox versus Take, who remembers? No tower up, three hunters split. They're not that competitive in the middle, so a lot of the temple will go to F4. But if they prevent mining and gather forces for the big push, that might be good. Even Militia called forces a town portal out of Sark. Okay, that is now a good force for Umed in the middle. Maru is buying a lot of time with his uh, Pally rifle play. It's really nice. So we're fighting for the fountain. It's still nighttime. I'm not sure for how long. Feels like it's nighttime for quite some time. Sonic is, oh, getting another Holy Light. Well done. But now Sock comes in from the north. And they really want these Overseers. The big items. Who's going to grab it? Close to level 4 is Maru. They get the Ankh. And the potion goes to Sock. Oh, no. The Paladin is surrounded. He 
could go for the Ankh. Lots of damage on this Archmage. Moves away. The TP is already gone, so... He's a little bit in trouble. Maru, I guess, willing... Oh, level 4 now! Willing to soak up the damage for this Ankh. Even going for Divine Shield. Interesting choice. He's gunning down quite some peasants, but I guess this is the town portal now. Or is he willing to go for the skill point and Ankh? No, town portal last second. Quite a gamble. Okay, dust settled. Sonic is still with the hunches in the middle. This is daytime, so no shadow melt. Quite some losses for you, Matt. Still at a 90 supply. Socks expansion is starting to pay off, though. And especially Sonic does not have the mass he needs. And the middle goes to F4. Sock already at 50. And Czech is expanding as well. They're going 4 base versus 2 base. Double Rex, tier 2 tech. The timing window is closing on them, though. We have a mana stone, by the way, for Maru. That's a huge help. With a lack of Brilliance Aura. Not sure if the Vine Shield is the right call. Potom is in. This is massive damage on Umat, and they're catching check, especially the Keeper is separated from the rest of the army. But they have to do something about these expansions. Can't allow them to mine from four bases in the 2-2. Two two. This just spirals out of control too crazy. Sonic has a heal scroll and an invo potion, no TP. And check is realizing this, aiming for that main. Trying to force him back, but Sonic doesn't know back. I'm not sure if they have an idea about the bottom right expansion. They try to tower this up now. Rifle, hunt, tower push. But Sonic is... Sonic is not in this push. Sonic is at home defending. So Maru is doing this alone against footman rifles. Well, we have a Huntress uh, battle here with the Potom. That is a kill right there. So, right hand side. How well is Maru doing? Scroll protection on both sides. No dispel. Lots of footmen. He's standing there. Oh, he's getting sandwiched. This is not good. This is really not good. I think he has TP out immediately. Level 5 for the Paladin. That's great. Needs a Holy Light to keep these rifles up. He's willing to stay in this. Okay. TP out now. Kansas the Towers loses. A lot of health, but I don't think too many units. He's still at 48. And split push. Sonic into Sox base. Mountain King second. Clap is gonna be sick if he can level this up. Sox has towers now. It's not getting better. What's Sonic doing? Diving into the main, catching a few hits from the guard tower. Free damage for Sock at the moment. Good distraction by Sock. Check is only the, at 37. He lost quite a bit. Not sure if he can hold this still. Level five and a half for the Paladin. <laughs> oh boy, that's sick. But oftentimes it's not hero levels that decide two and two, but pure mass. So there is an AP. What skills do we have? It's level two Holy Light, by the way. Level three would be a little too much. It's level two Devotion Aura. First tower canceled. Second tower under attack. Sonic is coming in as well. A little bit of a distraction. In Maru's base, we have no TP on Maru. Sonic might be the one defending this, and he is. 
They just let this die. Something is defending well. Tech units are coming for Maru. We have seen the workshop. It's level 6 now. Is he going for all four spells? Is he going for the old? Old could be sick, no? In these big battles, it's a lot of mana that it requires. But he has the stone, so... We'll see how it goes. Check is not in this fight. Sonic is backstabbing here. This could be really bad for Sock. He has no help. He's in the middle of it all. That's a TP. How many kills? One rifle on the way out. Big force now. 105 supply. And it is the ultimate for the Paladin. Check again with the distraction push. They're aiming for Check's main base. Could be a trade right here. And then it's still one base, two base. Sock is ready for the defense. This time Sonic with the engine protectors. Two APs for Check in the base. Probably a third one coming. Hunts in front. Good position. Free damage for the rifleman. But his own Tech is suffering. His own keep. Still no TP for them. Second engine of war now. But this will be cancelled. This is a lot of damage from these towers, but only piercing damage versus medium armor. They trade this base. Aiming for the entangled gold mine. There are town port. There is one town portal only on check. He can't go for this. Sock, despite the second income, doesn't have a TP. Trying to hide the tree of life at the bottom left. Keep is gone. But what about check space? I think this will be wiped out as well. Yeah, the APs are gone. Check has no production anymore. Trying to set up a base. But this is 72 sock supply. Can he do it one on two? Sonic's base is under attack as well. This is a pure arms race. Human has insane damage. There's a TP now. Only Sonic though. Sonic with his base against 72 supply. Oh, and there's Clap. Level 4 on the bottom. That doesn't change too much. I think Sonic will just lose everything. This rifle army is way too big. He's trying to force some distraction while... Okay, Maru with the town portal now. They want to hold Sonic's base. This is so expensive. It's so expensive. He doesn't even have the gold for it. He has to sell something. Sonic at 500 gold. Could send something over. Here's the town portal. Sonic is trying to run away. Without losses. Uh... All right, needs to get the hunters in front, but it's not that many anymore. Footmen are suffering, but what about the rifles? Obviously, the UMAT rifles are way better. Oh, ultimate! That's a lot of supply back. <sighs> Split push again. But Maru won't produce anything anymore. Sonic base still holding on. Check is about to... Oh, is Sonic expanding bottom right? Like... Three o'clock position and then bottom? See about that. Slow kicks in. Check still has a somewhat decent army. Mining now. Pushing Sock's bases will be very hard. There's towers, there's militia, there's heal scrolls. 3 towers, nice SimCity. Very hard to reach the towers. Maru saved some workers. There's a big fight coming in, probably. No tier 3. Check has another building there. That's a big supply lead, though. Another pickup. That's good. 
Damn, they're playing a great game again. Two APs by Sonic. I think it's not an expansion, right? Tomb of retraining for the Mountain King. Interestingly, he is clapped too already. Maybe he thinks that singling out units is, is better. Or it's just for the Archmage to go Blizzard. Oh, Maru was the one expanding. Ah, okay, didn't check the resources. But he's one and two. Oh, and this Blizzard. This is so much. This is Clap Blizzard. He needs to protect the mortar teams. F4, they're pushing too early. This ultimate for the Paladin can resurrect quite some units here. Oh, this clap, this clap, this clap is he big. And the blizzard on top. No disable against them. Level 5 for this Archmage, so the blizzard is going to be even crazier. Or the Brilliant Aura will provide way more mana. Paladin needs to save some mana for that ult. They rely on the ult and the position of the mortar teams. Feels like they can't get any kills. It's only red that's dying. <sighs> Is the cooldown even off? I'm not too sure. F4 is breaking through this. GG, F4 with the victory. Okay, that was too much. Sock the carry. With that early expansion, 72 supply. Way too much. Feels like it was a little ambitious running around without a TP. Trading bases when you're 4 to 2. Good performance, but again, it didn't work out for you, Matt. If they have this uh, strat in mind with the Pally Rifles Mass Hunts, expanding is kind of impossible. And this didn't work out for them, then... If there's different starting position for Check and Sock, this is all a little, little different. But it feels like there was a lack of a TP a couple of times. And then Sock. If Sock has 75 supply rifles, there's no chance. Okay. Map 1 didn't go too well, but we love turnarounds. Here are the highlights from the twos. Fight in the middle. That Divine Shield, I don't know if it changes the game but there was a lot of kills right there heavy 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 leveling on this paladin and the old the, the idea of the old was cool but again who gets the fountain gets the win remains true on lost temple a very unique game maybe let him die use the arm do more damage Maru did so well. He created so much space for Sonic, who then couldn't use it properly, I think. The first attack into the base was really good, but then... When he went into Sonic's base the second time, there was nothing really he could do. Good showing by Maru, though. And that fight was just hopeless. Sonic very early... While Maru still had no TP. I don't know. In general, the game plan for F4 worked better. Their communication looked a little better. And that's the 1 0 for the Koreans. Once again, on Better Pink, as we all play on Netties, of course. And in the end, this AoE. This AoE is the nail in the coffin. Like, if you have Blizzard raining down on you and you can't use your, mun your units because everything is down to clap, then that's what happens. Heal scroll was a nice idea. Maybe cooldown of the ultimate not off yet. Ultimate could have had sick impact, but at this point, everything was too late anyway. Good army comp. For second check. And they win their two and two. So, F4. With the lead, maybe for once not disappointing here. Is it time for Chemico? For the human one on ones, we have Todd, Cash, and Sonic. And we want the 1 1. See you in a bit. 
our first one-on-one -on -one of the clan war. It's time to slap back. It's time to strike back for you, Mad. It is Cash with Orc versus Sewin with Orc as well. So the second Orc mirror in a row for Cash. Usually he doesn't play that. And maybe that is a little bit of a weakness in other cups where he can choose his race, uh, not declare it before the clan war. He's oftentimes switching races to Night Elf. And here it's Orc Mirror. Yesterday it showed that Focus was by far the better Orc Mirror player compared to Cash. It's the step up his game. I hope the ping won't influence him too much because we need these points at 2 0 for F4. Would be quite disastrous as both clans are fighting for the top four. F4, can they finally step it up? Can they finally deliver the performance we expect from them? That means, of course, that Chimiko, Sok, and Czech are reserved for the other one on ones. On the bench for UMAD, we have Sonic and Todd. And hopefully a second two and two. This was. Um, not the standard 2-on-2 two -two that we've seen in the first match. That should be Todd and Cash. Maybe they're saving it for the second one. I think this is a must-win for UMAT to reach the playoffs. Very, very likely. Very, very likely. They won a Clutch Clan War against... Um, uh, NP already on play day one. So, not the worst situation for you, Matt, but they need to score now. The match starts! It's the first one-on-one -on -one of the UMAT versus F4 Clan War. It is Soin versus Cash for the tie or for match points. Concealed Hill is our map. Go, go, Cash! Soin 0-2 so far. Cash 0-3. Not carries as we said but Cash's performance on this map against Infi was glorious so in the blue in the upper right and Cash in the bottom left hand side in the red for Mother Russia so knock on wood press your thumbs we need every single advantage we can get because so has the ping advantage already we need claws we need mana items we need a little bit of luck, maybe, when someone fucks up the Ogre Lord. I don't care if people don't like my uh, biased casting. This is gonna be that way for the entire clan war, for every you mad clan war. So, any shenanigans? No. Blade Blade. With Barracks as well, no one skipping the grunts. I guess uh, Cash's ping should be all right. It's not that far uh, in the west of Russia, I think. So when I don't, I, I never really know what to expect from him. Sometimes he's flying under the radar. Sometimes he's overperforming a little, but I could never put him in a tier. This is, of course, a map choice for you, Matt. This is exactly what they want. Did they want the Orc Mirror when it's so ping-dependent? Maybe not. Maybe they wanted cash against the human as he did so well against Infi. Okay. So, claws, please. Ooh, so in going for the shop. Not going for the item. Interesting. Feels like he has quite some freedom in the early stages. That's a lot of damage as well. And he has to move back to the base eventually. Or he goes to the fountain, but not during daytime. Circlet for Soin. Ring for the blade. This is a Todd curse. Watch awards are so awesome. Watch what see this coming. He trades the ring for... Okay, he, he can't trade the ring, of course. The circlet was already uh, purchased. And snare flying in for Soin. This grunt a little unlucky. Free damage for cash. And the tier 2 tech for both players, pretty much. Cash, you gotta be careful to not be walled in. 
but since he's he's ultra aggressive, trying to cancel the healing, trying to get the grunt, but he has to be careful to not be walled in, and he is walled in with the grunt help. That is prevented rather quickly. The blade! Oh, 8 HP, dude! Don't go breaking my heart! Was that worth it? Was a lot of healing cancelled. <laughs> the ring of protection. Yeah, you're right. Ring of protection actually uh, saving him here. Cloak of uh, shadows for him. The grunt keeps on scouting. Blade master healed a little. At the fountain now using the heal self. But it's a level advantage. For so in. Cash feels the need to be aggressive again. Is there a ward? No, right? He still holds on to that second ward, so well, there's no second wind walk. It could just be trapped a little, is it? He gets the experience and the item once again a ring of protection. Ah, Soen got the ring, right? Yeah, so Soen got the ring. Cash got the uh, experience. He's moving all across the map for that, though. Always willing to contest. This kind of... What Cash is playing in this entire league, like, very early aggression. Not sure if that's the right call. Especially on a bigger map like this. Level 2 Windwalk is a big help. But if you force early fights, then maybe you go crit level 2 anyway. So Shadowhunter, Raider, Walker is the play for both. As they arrive on tier 2. He's stealing experience away. So I just wanted to go for the item to pimp the blade. But Soen is already moving over to the crap in the middle of the map. He wants that level 3 late master to roam around to disrupt creeping of the Shadow Hunter. Both with the Shadow Hunter at the very same time. And now it's creeping. Creeping, 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 creeping up to level 3 and then fight again. So it is kind of close. Both late masters, I guess. Very sure that their opponents are at their naturals, but someone with a little sidestep starts with the kobolds. Cash caught up with the blade experience. Is ahead with the shadow hunter now. No! No, 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 no! Steals the ogre away. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Plus the item as well. This is the game of the rings, by the way. Oh, I took too much time. So in. At the right spot at the right time. Everything was crap, but the big overseer. Cash is still getting level 2. Did you just steal the mantle? Oh my god, this is a disaster for Cash. So it is not willing to creep his natural yet. Afraid of a Blade Master creep check or something. Heal scroll for Soen already. Inventory for Cash is abysmal. And I think Cash lost track of his opponent as well. A little indecisive, moving towards the natural, moving away again. Oh, what? 
There's a big chance for so it. Speed scroll, spirit link. Supply is equal. No level advantage, really. So there's only the heal scroll. Sone is about to lose a grunt here, but it's not the biggest loss. If he trades a raider for it, that's totally fine, and he does. Another grunt dead. Cash is having a decent fight so far. Shouldn't lose all the raiders. He loses all the crowd control if he does. Spirit link everywhere. Heal wave as well. Surround on that raider. We fight without Kodo, so that's not the center of attention so far. Cash is losing a lot of health here. And mana is really, really low. While Soin has full mana on that level 2 Shadowhunter. Level 3 Blade as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Surround. He's dead. Can't pop him out. No mana. There's no mana for the Blade as well. I don't like this early aggression. It doesn't lead to anything. Double kill. GG. The winner is Sowin. <laughs> Take the drink of the uh, sip of the tea and off we go. Damn. This is not how I wanted this clan watch to go, guys. This is not good. 2-0 for F4. That was easy. It was too easy. I don't know, Cash. That, uh... Him and Orc Mirror, man. Feels like all the other orcs are one or two steps ahead. And now we got a lot of weight on the shoulders of Todd and Sonic. Again, yesterday, Cash was aggressive, got his Blade Master killed. Today, Cash getting trapped in the base, commits a lot. Almost getting killed. Maybe he feels like he can't straight up fight, but I think the fight was okay. Shadowhunter saving so much mana for Solon, by the way. He was always ahead. Better creep route. Better steals. Things in this league just don't go cash sway. So is it time for Todd? Todd with mad choice, but it will probably be a human mirror. So maybe Sonic on a map that he feels very comfortable on. Rough choice, rough clan war, rough results. F4 leading 2-0 over UMAD. It's three match points for the Koreans, but we don't give up our European hold. Go, go, UMAD, go, go, fighting! Give us Sonic, give us Todd, we don't care, we cheer for you guys, and we're back after a little break. There we have it confirmed by VSPN, Sonic versus Chimiko on Last Refuge. The Clan War and probably the playoffs are depending on Sonic's performance right here. Chimiko has lost to Remind already on AZ, and Chimiko has lost yesterday as well. Against... who was it again? Uh, against... No, wait. Oh yeah, against Michael. Two, 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 two. So there were some upsets against Chimiko already. And then we save so uh, Todd. For a potential game five. Okay, Sonic. You played so well against Fly. You can do it. I think Sonic's shape has declined a little in the last week. We need him with an A-plus performance here today. Usually, Chimiko is a huge favorite. But Sonic's shape was rising. He's a lot better than he was just two months ago. And 
If one guy is motivated for these clan wars, it's definitely Sonic. He's never giving anything up. The odds are stacked against you, Matt, and the odds are stacked against Sonic. Well, he will fight until the last wisp, I'm sure. Okay. About to be ready to get in this high pressure situation for you, Matt. And so, playoffs on the line for you, Matt. Everything in the hands of Sonic. Shamika with a bandana. He seems really happy about this matchup. Little smile on his face. LR, human versus Night Elf. This could be a big jump forward for F4 after disappointing performances over YR where they took the win but not the best score. And all these other, other crushing defeats. Yesterday, defeated by Rise again. Alright, Sonic. What do you give us? Chimiko in the upper right, playing from top to bottom. Sonic the other way around. This should just be Archmage. So, Sonic likes to play some hunts. But with what? Is it Warden? Is it Keeper? Is it Demon Hunter? Could play everything, pretty much. Demon Hunter. Versus an Archmage, it was to be expected. No Mountain King, no Paladin. And then Merc Camp or not, Expansion or not. Kind of hard to say for Chimiko, right? What Sonic is doing. I mean, it's it's hard to say for every player in every state of the map uh, what Sonic is doing. Maybe that's Sonic's big advantage. The unpredictability. What if all of a sudden there's an AP push in Shimiko's base? Can he deal with that? Creeping start, Sonic is scouting, has a wisp on the high ground. He's alright, Archmage it is. So what's the movement? Green into expansion, green into Merc into expansion. One base play. Ring to start things. Claws for Sonic. That's the RNG we need. Oh, wow. Chimiko knew this. Oh, what a huge play for the Korean. The sneaky Huntress Hall to fake a Huntress or to hide a Huntress push. And Chimiko sees it. The cat is out of the bag. I kind of expected a hunter's push by Sonic as he oftentimes does it against human. Wants to hide it on the high ground where usually no one scouts. And now it's Sonic all out aggression. But what can he do? Prevent water elementals. With that maybe prevent or delay an expansion. Okay, it's one base. For now. Sonic loses, by the way. This is the third 0-3 in a row for you, Matt. Sonic tacking as well. This Huntress pushes off. It's a little bit of redemption for Chimiko so far. He's going rifles. And then Naga or Blood Mage, I guess. Blood Mage to counter Siphon the Demon Hunter. Is there a Hunter Soul somewhere? I don't think so. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just a moonwalk. Distraction push by Chimiko. Forcing a little repair, forcing a couple of wisps out. And of course, mana is being burned. <laughs> Chimiko surrounds. So beautiful. That was a perfect surround. Oh my god, how fast was this surround? Great execution so far for the Korean. T2 tech is finished, and then defend is ready as well against the Dryads. What's Sonic's game plan? Can't go Shredder push. Yeah, Naga. No Blood Mage. No boots on... Okay, boots on the Demon Hunter, alright. So he can walk away, but he doesn't go for a second tier himself, waiting for the tier 2 to finish. That's the Hunter Saw. It's just boots in the early. But it's very typical for Sonic to go for this delayed Hunter's Hall. Maybe it's an MG rush. So it doesn't necessarily mean he forgot about it. Ooh, slithers through the surround, but of course Chimiko keeps it closed. My god, this is just a demonstration of force at this point. TP out, lots of HP lost. He's getting a footman for his efforts. But yeah, Naga on Naga action goes to the human. Not a rush tier three, it's a lore now. It's so late. You will want to put a junk sort of energy. Chimiko plays pretty much flawless so far. Also, not taking risks, always aware of what's happening, always ready for any situation. Oh, bigger mana, nice. Levels are a little bit of an issue for Chimiko, but that's always the case on LR. Rifle caster it is. No tier 2 expansion yet, even though Chimiko has a very, very good state of the game. Just towering this home. A little too early for that. Oh, fell for it. Illusion. You <laughs> will the boat, just saw the gong. Chimiko is so scary. Once he opens up his melee forces, he always... Oh my god, he wants to surround. He's so good at that. I have to move away. That's a threat on his own. Okay, tier 3 tech now. Investing into an AP. Investing into boots. No TP anymore. It's not a flawless early game by any means. But if Sonic can stall this game, uh, if Tomiko is not decisive enough, there's a chance for Sonic to be stronger in the very late stages of Tier 3. There's a big push. Level 3, big mana, heal scroll, invo potion, tanky naga, no tier 3. And this wonderful, wonderful block. Alright. This is UMAT's clan war life on the line. He is towering this home. Tamika wants to go back to Netflix. Big fan of movies and stuff. The nades are okay. There's not much. There's no slow. These sorks are useless. 
And bears bring Riju now. But this AP is falling. These towers there were supposed to buy time. They didn't buy much time. Demon Hunter's not even three. That's that's really bad. First tower should be up soon. Sonic is dropping damage. There's no way to build archers back, so the production is very dependent on the lores right now. Oh, with illusion and master, he's trying to break this demon hunter in the back, trying to burn this archmage as good as possible. He just popped the potion. Bears are finding the connection to the rifles. That's a lot more damage than it should be. Fork lightning as well, even though you can't barely see it. Tower is up, almost no focus on that. Also no dryads, he was rushing straight to bears. Last slither of hope. And despite the detonates, despite the mana burns, there's two water elementals up here thanks to the potion. Tower is gone, one bear down. Demon Hunter level three finally gets rid of the slow. Sonic is down to 29 supply. He's fighting with hope and heart. But not much more. Jimmy Ghost is overwhelming. 20 supply lead, good hero levels. Aiming for the hero focus, Invul is ready. He still holds on to the heal scroll. Naga down. Oi, oi, oi. As I said, Sonic is gonna fight until the last wisp, but... Jimiko is just so good. The blocks, the surrounds. Today the timings. Easy Katka. Way too easy on a Katka. You mad on a 0309 streak. And there goes the playoffs. Chinese castes were right. Cash again, no match in an Orc Mirror. Sonic again. Not finding his game of a week ago. That's rather disappointing. I don't know if this Cash first seed is way too exposed now. I don't know. LR versus Chimiko. I'm... Would love to know what the thinking behind it is. Uh, I'm not saying that I am the almighty answer to everything, but feels a little weird to me. But yeah, that's play day five for you guys. And this, wow, Liquipedia is updated already. You guys are phenomenal. Um, wait, that's the wrong one. So, current standing in the league after five play days looks like this. Quite some changes this week. ELL on the very top with five and all. Rogue Warriors right behind with four and one. LP Club. After the bad start into the season with two wins in a row, all of a sudden rank three. F4 with the biggest win of their run so far, of their league so far with the two and two. Rise again also. Moon is the carry he needs to be for them this week with one and two. Umat at NP one to three and YR on the very bottom of the bracket with a zero four. Not looking good for the playoffs. UMAT needs a little bit of a, a miracle going into week four. That is next week. We got NP versus LP. Can NP finally get the win they deserve? We have YR versus UMAT. That is That must be the win for UMAT. Otherwise, they are in danger of uh, dropping into seven and eighth spot, where it's kind of half the prize money. And... Rise Again versus RW. This is Moon and his boys versus InfiTH and Fly on Friday. YR versus LP. Rise Again versus UMAD. This could be Todd versus Moon. 
Just saying. And F4 versus RW. That is happening next Thursday and next Friday. On the Back to Warcraft streams, everything starts at 10 a.m. So our program for the weekend is pretty simple. We have two streams, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, both at 5 p.m. Tomorrow we have the Back to Warcraft Weekly Cup, where you should all sign up for. It's going to be up at challenge.com. Um, and you will find everything with exclamation mark weekly. On Sunday, we have a little bit of a vote up on Twitter. What do you want to see? Is it the one-on-one -on -one ESL Open Cup number 15? Or is it the W3IL clan war between Team Sweden and Dust Gaming? It's up for you to decide. Instagram has voted that they want to see the one-on-one -on -one cup. Maybe the Twitter sphere and the Facebook guys can turn this around. That's it for the day. I, have, I hope you have a wonderful Friday. And we see each other tomorrow. Spread the love for Warcraft and call your mothers. Bye-bye.